so far in this series, we've talked about reimagining the in-person events. We've talked about hybrid events. We've said to look at conferences and associations for ideas. Number four was to use peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And number five was to be really good at storytelling. Now, number six is to get rid of the notion that we need that one single large event. So I want you to ask yourself, how much does it cost your nonprofit to put that large event together? Most organizations don't look at their events from an opportunity cost perspective. You need to look at hard expenses and the time that's spent. See, because both are important calculation to assess overall cost effectiveness. Challenge yourself and your team to look at your past events through a total cost lens. An easy framework for you to look at includes analyze those hard costs. You know, the things like the fly, flyer design, the mailing, the venue rental, food, decorations, et cetera, and examine both the direct and indirect costs. Make sure to include those hard costs that may have been booked and paid for in a previous budget cycle. Multiply the number of hours expended times the employee salaries and add that into the cost of the event. Also, keep track of the volunteer hours. Even though you don't pay them, it can be a lost opportunity cost. Your volunteers are only available to you for a certain number of hours and they must be used wisely. Don't forget about burnout for you, your staff, and your volunteers. So consider hosting multiple smaller online events throughout the year. They can be conducive to intimate interactions with your donors. Without distractions, they can devote more attention to your presentation and asks. Until we're fully back in the ballroom, 100%, consider pivoting the mega event to more something more intimate online that make your donors feel connected. I've seen lots of really creative ideas. An organization that works with environment and they created a virtual picnic version. So what they did was they had picnic baskets prepared and they had a price of $250 on each of the baskets and they had donors buy the baskets and then they either delivered them or they came by and picked them up. It was a huge success and brought in money. You can also sponsor online lunches or smaller in-person lunches in people's individual homes. You can collaborate among groups, for example, between a music-related nonprofit and a children's nonprofit, and then live stream a concert for the kids. You may even be able to have something outside with the kids and a concert. Invite small groups to different locations and then live stream between the locations. You can create head-to-head -head competition for games and challenges.